Hey guys, how's it going? I haven't done an unboxing up here in my office in quite some time, but today I thought we would because I've got something pretty exciting and I've actually already unboxed this at E3. It is the new Xbox S. Real sleek, real slim. When you have an Amazon addiction and your recycling bin is very tiny, problem solved. All right, baby, let's open you up. Two terabytes, 4K, Ultra HD. To be honest, I, I watch most movies and things <laughs> on my phone in super low res. I really should start having a better viewing experience for movies and TV and stuff like that, but I don't really care. I don't want any items to fall. Oh, jeez. Oh, Shall we test the durability? Okay, what have we got in here? Looks like a little stand. That looks like something new. I don't think I saw that in my E3 unboxing. I like that, because I think I might stand it up. Or I might not. I'm not sure. Mmm. How nice they give us some batteries. HDMI. The most exciting thing about this, is especially for me and probably a lot of you guys, is sometimes I do tend to travel with my Xbox and carrying around that massive power brick was always so annoying and always added extra room that I would need to carry my bag. The power is now integrated into the Xbox, so thank you. Let's get into this body, shall we? Look at you, looking so good. Real thin, you've been working out. That's it. Looks quite nice. So the stand, there's these little clips. Okay. So one of the things that you really can't tell is how much smaller this is in size compared to the previous Xbox. Look at this beefy boy. I mean, it's a, it's a pretty significant size difference. Come on, come on, turn your Xbox on. If you notice here, I have my name. I always get it confused when my sister would bring hers over. All of my items have my name on it, even like my HDMI cables. I'm ridiculous. Like it used to drive me crazy. I'd have to go around the side, around the back. We're good to go. Well, that's it, guys. This is the Xbox One S. I wanted to show you guys the size comparison and sort of a little bit of the differences. But if you want more information, I'll put a link in the description where you guys can get that and you can get yourself the new Xbox One S. I'm gonna go set this up now. So let's go. Let's set a little mood lighting while my dog borks his head off downstairs. Here's a nice green for um, for for Microsoft for Xbox. Huh. I think I'm just gonna stop this video and I'm gonna clean this and make it look nice and then I'll, we'll start it up because I gotta do some serious cord reorganization here. Here's the sad reality. I have so many cords back here that I'm not even sure if this looks any better. I mean, to me, I think it does. How I just, I'm a cord hoarder, but I need all the cords. I'm hoping that I put everything back together correctly. I'm not sure, because I unplugged everything, so let's... Power you on. Okay, things are happening. Things are happening. It's a really great angle. Come on. These cords drive me crazy. Looks like it's finally ready. There's really not gonna be much to really show you, but even here we're here. No, I don't wanna update again. Controller is updated. Oh, that's it. It's officially up. It's officially running. I think the first game that I'm gonna be playing on it is Lego Star Wars. All right guys, that's it. I'll see you guys later. Happy Tech Tuesday. It's actually Tuesday and happy Xbox One S launch day. So, bye. Is it gonna pinch me? Nope. I wonder what this gonna look like when I get done with it.